there's no doubt that Marrakesh in Morocco is a hot tourist destination known for its sooks, its spas and its luxury experiences. So back in spring 2022, I had to go check it out for a long weekend. Here is three days in Marrakesh and not in Marrakesh to show you what I got up to in this very popular destination. We start with checking into the Riyadh. The Riyadh is a small Moroccan house that's been converted into a residence and stay. Very different from our luxury hotel. Cost about 40 to 50 pounds a night with breakfast, a nice large room, all drinks included. And it was about a 20 minute walk from the Marrakesh town center. Now this vlog is slightly different because I had no intention of creating a Morocco vlog because I was not vlogging back in spring 22. So it is a combination of pictures, videos and things that were being done behind the scenes just to give you an idea of what you can get up to for three days in Marrakesh and around Marrakesh on a budget. First day, it's all about checking out the site. So you have the historical Islamic sites in Marrakesh. Often there is a ticket to entry or a queue in which you have to wait. There's also the fun side of Marrakesh, which is the Hammam spas, the local market, the restaurants at the nighttime, and just chilling with the local life. And trust me, Marrakesh does not sleep. So you can come here as late as you want and there's always something to do, eat and see. My recommendation would be to try the avocado juice and the almond juice. Honestly, I did not think it would be good as it would be. It sounds weird, but it was delicious. After doing some work on day two, it was all about going on the quad bikes for the Moroccan sunset. So this costs a few pounds just to go into a group cohort for quad bikes that then led you on a tour for a couple of hours it also included a break in the middle with moroccan tea and local snacks before quad biking in and out of the desert area it was a great experience really fun good tour guides got to learn a little bit more about the culture and a beautiful sunset which honestly is a good addition to the in town marrakesh experience if you can go out quad biking to see the sun with a group tour and get some moroccan snacks i definitely recommend it Day three and it was about heading to the Imlil mountains on a private group tour. It took about 60 minutes on the drive plus some sites along the way and then half day hiking. It was most definitely my most memorable experience during my time in Morocco and I'd recommend it to everyone. Not only do you get to see something different which is not the typical historical architectural town center but you get to experience the way that local Moroccans in the mountainous area live, their humble and simpler backgrounds. You get to see people working their local trade, all the way to experiencing the most beautiful naturesque walks and hikes and having some great fresh orange juice. I don't know how else to sell this to you, but if you are looking for a good experience, even a great experience actually, when you get to Marrakesh, I would recommend going up to the mountainous area and one thing that I wish I could have done is actually stayed the night, stargazed and woke up around that beauty, hopefully for next time. But this is just an overview of going to Imlil Mountains and spending a good day trip, investing in local culture, local cuisine and giving back to the local economy.
One of my favorite activities that I would recommend when you go to Morocco is to go and experience a hammam spa, a traditional Moroccan spa. This was a really nice spa that I found in the middle of Marrakesh. It had great reviews, it was female founded. It wasn't very expensive, but even the zone, you are giving back to local economy and helping local tradespeople to run their businesses while I was just having a really luxurious experience. Hi guys, I'm now sitting at dinner. We've just ordered pizza. Why not have some pastry? We've got that coming with some new tea on it, you know, it tastes 